This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. So I could leave slowly, but I have my own sort of selfish reasons for not wanting to do that. The main thing being that I want to get to a location where I am uh, free to film from the tripod again. The entire way up there, I'll be just stuck with this moving business. I have to keep moving. So and that pretty much makes me ineffective the whole way out. So I might as well just get out as soon as possible. So my guess would be that the owner of the property must be a Trump supporter. He must know that I'm not, although it's actually probably not super common knowledge. Anyway, all that has happened to me so far today is pretty much by my design. Uh, the idea was to get as close as possible. Uh, you can always move further back, but sometimes you can't move close. So it seemed possible to me that sooner or later someone would try and kick me out. But uh, it's really clear on exactly when that would happen. periphery is the place to be for me so getting kicked out to it serves the purpose of well them having to use their power to get me to the location I pretty much want to be anyway but also getting a bunch of hits while I'm at it and the more they use their power the less of it they have, as, Je as Jefferson used to say. So anyway, as you can see, I'm now on uh, Technology Drive. Right back where I started. Soon, uh, the location where I am now will be crowded with protesters. So what you're seeing here is a road that is about a third of a mile away from the event uh, as the car drives. And yet they're trying to stop cars from parking there. I, I can't tell for sure, but I don't think this is a narrow enough road that you would not be able to park there and still have the road be open. My somewhat educated guess would be that the owner probably didn't know who I even am. I would guess only one in five New Amsterdamites know who I am at, at best. And what really happened was some government official or political official went to the property owner and told them all about me <laughs> he's just anti-government well then at that point someone would have gone something along that something after that would have happened related to the property owner it's interesting though if you think about it I'm really I don't think I'm any more anti-Trump than the mainstream press is uh, for me to get kicked out and not them eh, okay whatever judgment call judgment called into question but, but it doesn't really 
it doesn't hurt me any for them to kick me out. I wasn't getting anything interesting in there anyway. That I, I mean, I'd already gotten everything I could think of that I wanted. There would have been a few more events that would have come that way. There would have been a few more shots to have, but I wasn't really planning on doing that much more in there anyway. It, you know, it, it, it just a policeman coming up to me. All that did was help me get another 10,000, 20,000 hits that I wouldn't have gotten. Now, whoever, whoever's driving that U-Haul, uh, looked like they were in uniform. I don't know what's up with that. Hi. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? you know, the, I mean, you know the rules, so if you don't mind just staying out of the crosswalk, stationary, you know, you can be up on the side of the roads, no problem. All right? I am beginning to comply. All right, thank you.